No, this is not an iPhone. This is my HTC HD2 um, that has been rooted to run Android Froyo. And um, I just put on a open home skin to make it kind of look like an iPhone because I, I do kind of like the iPhone interface. It's just just a preference because I use an iPod Touch for um, listening to podcasts. So, um, taking a look at this, I mean, it's still a HD2 with large screen, very clear, very bright. Um, I have multiple screens. One good thing about this is the um, Android um, interface that's using the simulated iPhone skin um, can run widgets, which the iPhone really doesn't do. So it's kind of like, a, like an iPhone on steroids now. Uh, because a lot of applications like Facebook uh, work the same in Android, Windows Mobile, or uh, or the iPhone, pretty much all of that works the same regardless of which phone OS you have. Now, as you can tell, um, when I open things, like, well, that's just a calculator. Well, when I open Facebook, when I open, let's open something that hasn't been opened yet. I'm gonna open YouTube. It um, it actually reacts pretty well. It's it's not slow at all. It actually took longer when Windows Mobile was on the phone. Um, now, I mean, it's pretty much a working phone. Uh, now this rooted build of Android does have some flaws, and the flaws are kind of big depending on what you want to do with the phone. I mean, as a phone, as a contact list, as a calendar, it works great. Uh, running apps, it works great. The thing that I'm seeing is the biggest flaw is I'm having trouble with connecting Bluetooth headsets, which I'm going to play around with more. And I'm also having trouble with the video camera, which is a known issue with this build. So I put this Android on this phone knowing the video camera didn't work. So I'm not going to complain about that. The camera, however, the camera app, I mean, it works fine. It's um, not as high resolution as the actual camera on the device, but um, it's still pretty good for a phone, and it still takes pictures. And anyway, I didn't use the highest resolution because I just didn't. So all in all, I think um, rooting this to Android Froyo was a good idea. Um, there's still some things about it. Um, battery life is expected to be low with any Android phone right now. And that's not a, really a problem with Android. It's because the phone does a lot of things in the background, which I need to still tweak. So that's something I need to do, not something wrong with the phone. Um, I did purchase off of the marketplace the set CPU application, which allows me to adjust my CPU parameters to try to save battery life. And um, I think um, I got quite a few more hours out of the phone. So that's something to look into. Also, that set CPU. I did start loading apps. That actually, um, this phone was so worth it to upgrade to Android that I started buying apps like Handsent, which is a really good, a really interesting um, SMS message handler, which is a lot more interesting than the one that comes with the phone. Let's see. And I also got the Advanced Task Killer, so I can see and quickly kill applications that are running in the background kill so that I don't use up all my CPU I mean I'll, I don't use up all my battery life so all in all um, I'm really liking the phone I'm probably gonna use this like this um, and see if I can get a third-party app for the video or check back if there is a video camera update and also check back to um, Let's look for more videos if um, anything gets fixed, I'll post it up.